When you think of cities that have a vibrant art scene, the ones that come to mind are Paris, Milan, New York, and London. But one individual wants to put Dawson Creek on the artistic map. Meet Kit Fast. He is born and raised in the Mile Zero City, and after serving in the military, he is back and wants to share his passion for the arts. Art uh, infuses every section of society, um, whether it's uh, ec economic or creative or influencing uh, decisions in, in government, it's, it's all there. The wheels on the Dawson Creek art train began to turn when the city opened the gallery in 1965, before moving to their current location in the elevator in 1983. We like to represent the region as well, so we have shows from all the way throughout the region, from Fort Nelson artists to Grand Prairie to Chetwin, Tumbler Ridge. Right now we have Allure, which is a show by Judith Brown and Carolyn Kosadek. They're a mother-daughter uh, team of uh, watercolor artists from Spirit River. So I, it's up until November 4th, and I'd, I'd encourage everyone to come by. It's uh, all watercolor, and it represents the Peace Region and some other countries as well, and it's just a beautiful show. The Peace Region and British Columbia in general have a rich art history, and in 2015-2016, over 2,000 Canadian artists and 2,200 arts organizations received Canada Council grants. I'm Craig Krause for CJDC-TV News in Dawson Creek.